From time immemorial, our forebears have gazed at the night skies, wondering if we are alone in the universe. Remarkably, a handful of early thinkers, including the Roman philosopher Lucretius and the Renaissance scholar Giordano Bruno, recognize that the cosmos must contain other worlds with intelligent beings. Writing nearly a century before Christ's birth, Lucretius stated, quote, all this visible universe is not unique in nature, and we must believe there are in other regions of space, other worlds, other beings, and other men, end quote. Today, thanks to modern astronomy and the discovery of exoplanets, we know the sheer vastness of the cosmos makes the prospect of other inhabited worlds not only plausible, but a statistical certainty. One recent estimate concludes the odds we are alone in the universe are less than one chance in 10 billion trillion. Another recent estimate suggests that we share the Milky Way with over 10,000 alien civilizations, most far older and more advanced than us. In short, it seems inevitable that alien civilizations have arisen elsewhere and are as abundant, diverse, and sophisticated as anything imagined by the authors of science fiction. Consequently, although the title of this conference, We Are Not Alone, may sound sensationalistic, it actually expresses a view shared by most astronomers. Distant alien life would be of purely theoretical interest if there was no prospect of interacting with these civilizations. However, there is a large and growing body of evidence indicating that at least one alien civilization has found Earth and is monitoring us, perhaps even seeking to influence the trajectory of our development. Reputable military accounts of unidentified anomalous phenomenon, UAP, date back to at least World War II. The historical data includes hundreds of thousands of documented UAP reports, many involving multiple witnesses and radar and other sensor data. U.S. fighter pilots have testified under oath before Congress about encounters with intelligently controlled vehicles demonstrating performance characteristics we do not understand and cannot emulate. There are military videos corroborating some of this testimony, as well as radar and signals intelligence data. In a refreshing act of candor, Dr. John Kozlowski, who presently leads the U.S. government's UAP investigation, recently stated, quote, UAP are real. We've received 1,600 cases. These are interesting cases that, with my physics and engineering background, I do not understand, and I don't know anyone else who understands them either." End quote. It is important to recognize that the intelligence controlling these strange craft might not be biological. Dr. Stephen Dick, former NASA chief historian, is among those who believe artificial intelligence may be the dominant agent in vast regions of space. In the 1950s, the mathematical genius John von Neumann proposed the idea of self-replicating probes, a prescient example of one means by which technologically advanced civilizations could eventually extend their reach across an entire galaxy without the necessity of faster than light travel. In short, we most certainly aren't alone in the universe and most likely aren't alone in the Milky Way. The crucial question then is whether there is a connection between the UAP we are detecting and any of the alien civilizations that have undoubtedly arisen on numerous occasions over billions of years elsewhere in the galaxy. In light of the compelling evidence that has emerged in recent years, many of us who study UAP are frustrated by the feeble mainstream press coverage of these issues and a regrettable lack of interest on the part of academia and most governments. It is, after all, hard to conceive of an issue with more profound or far-reaching implications. How many people today are aware that the U.S. government, confronted by evidence it could not deny, has reluctantly acknowledged the reality of UAP? How many are aware that decorated Navy aviators have testified under oath before Congress about encounters with vehicles they believe are of alien origin? 
How many people are aware that a former intelligence officer swore under oath in live testimony before Congress that the U.S. government has actually recovered non-human technology? Why isn't the public clamoring for more information regarding these sensational claims made by brave, highly educated, and reliable military personnel? What makes this situation even more ironic and surprising is the exceptional global popularity of fictional accounts of alien life. For example, the top three highest grossing films of all time feature aliens. Today, Star Wars has some 16.8 million followers on Instagram, and Marvel Studios, which prominently features alien characters, has 69 million Instagram followers. By contrast, the mutual UFO network, MUFON, which investigates and catalogs UAP sightings, and provides up-to-date UAP reports replete with photos and videos, has a mere 60,000 Instagram followers. The math shows that for each MUFON follower on Instagram, there are roughly 20,000 Marvel fans. This disparity between the public's insatiable appetite for fictional alien narratives and its relative disinterest in accounts of UAP is itself a fascinating topic. It demonstrates a keen public interest in alien themes, yet it remains a largely subliminal interest, perhaps due to the conscious mind's desire to avert what psychologists call, quote, cognitive dissonance. This awkward term describes a mechanism our minds employ to protect us from conflicting information that could cause debilitating stress and anxiety. It is not hard to see why conscious recognition of an alien presence would for many people prove anxiety producing disruptive, and difficult to reconcile with society's prevailing view of reality. Simply stated, the issue of UAP and aliens is not only subtle and complex, for many people it is also anxiety producing and therefore exceptionally difficult to accept or to process. This I would argue is one of the greatest challenges we face in seeking to raise public awareness of the UAP topic and its implications. The problem is massively compounded by the unique and unprecedented obstacles involved in applying conventional scientific methods to studying UAP. Suffice it to say that never before in history have we studied anything that surpasses us in intelligence and technological development. In sum, no issue could be more profound or important, but in seeking to study the issue and raise public awareness, we are also faced with unique and unprecedented challenges.